come on in welcome to my home today we are making garlic herb bagels these are water bagels and they are so easy and so delicious to make and I'm using my handy dandy bread maker these are great a lot of people don't like bread makers because they say they make the bread too tough Bagels, one of those things which they're really good this way. We've made bagels before. If you want to go back to the day where we make onion bagels, that's right up there. But let's make these. These are so good, so easy, and the bread maker does the, all the work. We're going to start off with one tablespoon of dry active yeast. To that, I'm going to add my flour. We have two tablespoons of sugar, one and a quarter cup of warm water, now remember, to put these ingredients in, in the order that your recommended manufacturer tells you, then two tablespoons of Italian herbs, or you can just go whatever herbs you love. Now, this is up to you. I have two tablespoons of garlic, and this is minced garlic. You can cut it down to one, you can go with one teaspoon. It's how much you love garlic. Here, we love garlic. And then a pinch of sea salt. Ooh, that smells so good already. All right, so then what we are going to do is we, this is set at the dough setting. I'm going to kick it on and let it go through its whole entire cycle. Our dough is out of the bread maker. Now, one of the things you are going to have to think about, and I had to think about today, was the fact that it is very, very wet today. It rained a lot. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm dividing this dough into roughly eight pieces. You want to make them about the same size. Then once you've got eight pieces, you're going to make them into little circles with a hole in it and just place them down onto, I have a silicone lined pan. Now these are not going to, uh, they're not going to double up that sort of thing. So you can crowd these on just a little bit, not too terribly much. Now, I'm going to cover these and let them rest for 10 minutes. My oven is preheating to 425 degrees. The pot of water will have one tablespoon of baking soda in it. Once the water is up to a boiling temperature, you will add the bagels one at a time or two at a time depending upon your pot, and you will boil them, reducing the heat just slightly, for about a minute. Minute per side, take them out, put them back onto the baking pan, and then you will bake them in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Our bagels are out. They are slightly cooled, cooled enough that I can handle them without, you know, setting my hands on fire. I'm going to cut them because unlike store-bought bagels, yes, these are not pre-cut. You do have to cut them yourself. Place it on a plate, move everything off to the side. I am a bagel and cream cheese person. Uh, I have had bagels with locks. I do like locks, uh, but these should be really good. And yes, I overload my bagel with cream cheese. I would have loved to have made my own cream cheese. However, I didn't. <laughs> Let's give our bagel a taste. That is absolute heaven. If you want a toastier, you know, toastier bagel, you can slice it and then toast it in the oven or in a toaster. It'll work just great. It sort of reminds me of like a pizza crust with a bagel. I mean, this is really, really good. I would highly, highly recommend these bagels. So, so good. If you make these, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget to subscribe. Every Tuesday is a recipe, and if there's a certain recipe you'd like to see me try to make, let me know. And don't forget to check out my latest playlist. I love all these ideas and things which we're coming up with. And remember, why buy it when you can make it yourself?